Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Apart. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a whole house clean with me. So feel free to sit back and relax and watch me do all the cleaning or crank this up and let's get to cleaning together. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely use the link down below to head over there and start following me or just search till vacuum do us part. I have a giveaway going on over there with some ladies that you do not want to miss. Plus, I just share a lot of other things over there. Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. Um, if you enjoy today's video, I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel. I like to post here twice a week and then I post one to two times over on our vlog channel. So definitely make sure you're following both so you stay up to date on everything that we're doing. Okay, as you can see, I'm just working on my beauty room. If you're new, this is like my beauty room slash office. I get ready in here, I work in here. This is just like my space. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean the mirrors in here. I'm trying to wipe off surfaces. It does get very dusty in this room for some reason. So I like to wipe it down occasionally. Plus right there, my vanity desk just gets makeup on it. So you can just see I'm going from space to space. I love to keep rooms clean enough that I don't have to spend like an hour cleaning on them. It's picked up, it's decluttered. So all I have to do is wipe a few things down and then it's good to go. It's just what I do when I'm Okay, while I'm cleaning off my desk, I wanted to update you about my outfit because I always get questions and it's just easier to answer on here than answering a lot of comments. Um, my shoes are from Ross, but Amazon actually carries them. So I have them in my Amazon store. You just have to click on the link down below in my description box. And then my leggings are Zella. I love those. I was influenced by a few other um, YouTube influencers and bought those. I was a Lululemon girl, but these are so much more affordable and I actually like them better. And then my sweater is from Sam's. I can't link it because they don't have it online, but I love that thing. So if you have a Sam's near you, definitely check them out. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean this mirror off. I know it's crazy. I have so many mirrors in this room, but one used to be above my sectional in the living room. And then we got family prints made. So I went ahead and just threw it in here. Eventually I'll figure out what to do with all of them, but it's a beauty room. So I just keep adding all the mirrors in there. This town. Okay, now I'm going to finish up by vacuuming my room. I have been getting a ton of questions about my vacuum lately. So I wanted to let you guys know it is the LG cordless. I went ahead and put it in my Amazon store. Um, I also get asked to, you know, to compare it between that and the Dyson. I feel like they're both great vacuums. You're not going to go wrong with either. The Dyson's more affordable than the LG. The LG does last longer. It never dies on me. Plus it comes with a second battery. So even if if it were to or you have a big house or two-story both batteries stay charged on the charger so you could just pop it in and keep going where when the Dyson dies you have to wait a few hours for it to charge up so I feel like there's a lot more features with the LG um, so but it is more money so if you have the budget I would go with the LG but if you don't the Dyson is still great it still works well I haven't had very many issues with either one of them Now I'm going to take these few loads of towels into my living room to start folding. Um, I really enjoy folding towels. I don't love folding laundry, but towels don't bother me. I think it's kind of calming. You can space out. I also like to have Alexa play music and just like listen to her and I can fold them and put them away pretty quick and really simple and easy. I think because you don't have to pull out hangers and you don't have to do much sorting. So I really enjoy just kind of slowing down, folding towels and like taking a breather.
I'm going to go ahead and start putting all the towels away. I grabbed Savannah's first just because her bathroom is the closest and I'm going to put them up for her. Um, she tends to put her own laundry away, but this cabinet's really high. Um, so I like to just do it for her. And then I'm going to go ahead and pile all the items back into my laundry basket because the other two bathrooms are a little bit further apart. And then I'll grab my kitchen cleaning cloths and go put those up in the kitchen. Is So my little tip for laundry is just get everything done as quick as you can. So put it in the washer when you have a full load, put it in the dryer as quick as you can, and then fold it and put it away. Don't put it on your kitchen table and let it sit there. Don't let it pile up on your bed where you can, don't have a place to sleep. Just do it immediately and then it's just painless and then you don't just stare at something all day long for weeks on end. Like you shouldn't be going looking for clean clothes and a pile of clean laundry. Like pull it out of the dryer, fold it, and put it away. Now I'm going to head back into my living room um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my diffuser and then wipe all my wood furniture down. So I really can't use candles in my house. Every time I find one I like, I just can't burn it for very long without getting a headache. I can't do wall plug-ins without getting a headache. So I feel like the easiest way to keep my house smelling fresh is just by cleaning with like my non-toxic products. I use my diffuser, but I really do like to wipe down my furniture once a day. It keeps it from getting dusty. It keeps keeps it from getting dirty and it keeps my house smelling nice and clean and fresh with two dogs that can be hard sometimes. So it's just kind of something I do. It's kind of like my little workout too. I can go around. It keeps me from just like sitting down on the sofa. Um, I really do like these Jaws cleaning products. They're non-toxic and they don't have a strong scent. So it's not something that's like overpowering. It doesn't give me a headache, but it does have that like clean and fresh scent to it. So lately, um, another question I've been getting a ton of is where did I get my coffee table from? I searched for a long time for this coffee table. I kind of knew what I wanted for this area, but I couldn't explain it to anybody. Um, so I love to shop Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Goodwills, thrift stores, garage sales, you name it. I found this on Facebook Marketplace for $15 and it was like a cream white, which I left it, it had a gray tint to it and I left it that way for a while, but then when we painted my island, the cadet, it's like a blue gray, I went ahead and painted this first to make sure I loved the color before we had our island sprayed. Um, but for $15, it was a steal. I feel like it's almost one of a kind piece. I've never seen anything like it before and I love it. So you can definitely, definitely decorate your home for less. It may take a little more time and a little more work, but just keep checking those sites and you will find some incredible deals. Just to give you a few more examples of how you can decorate for less, um, that white dresser as my TV stand I found on Craigslist and I got it for $35 and it came that way exactly. I didn't have to paint it or do it. That gray chair, I actually have two of them and I bought this set for $40 so they were $20 each. Um, so I just love finding good deals like that. You can make your home look gorgeous on a budget so don't ever tell yourself that you don't have enough money to have a beautiful home. Just kind of spend time garage selling, spend a few moments checking a Facebook marketplace and I promise you you can find some really good deals. Now I'm going to quickly vacuum my bedroom real fast. I like when I have the vacuum out just to kind of go ahead and do the other rooms. It takes no time. I will say vacuuming has become so much easier now that it's cordless. Um, when you have a cord and you have to like stop and plug it in and move, um, you may not do all the rooms in your house, but when I can just carry it from room to room, it really is so simple and easy and I think that's why I vacuum so often. 
So I have this pink hand soap out here for Valentine's Day, but I had picked up these gold ones at Ross. I found them for $2.99, the Method hand soap, and I wanted to put that out. Plus, I had ran out of soap in my bathroom, and so I thought it would be perfect to go ahead and stick the pink back there for a pop of color, and then the, cold, the gold could go out in my kitchen. And then while I was back here, I realized it was dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning it. I first was just gonna take like my Lysol, my Dollar Tree Lysol wipes and wipe it down, but I realized it was a little bit too dirty for that, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Dollar Tree just spray, and I cut Dollar Tree sponges in half, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick wipe down just so it's nice and clean. So I have three bathrooms and so I like keeping the cabinets stocked underneath with cleaning products. If I have to like go get cleaning products, I'll talk myself out of it or I'll get distracted along the way. But when I started keeping the products underneath the sink, I'm just more likely to go ahead and do a quick wipe down and kind of stay on top of things. Um, that's why I enjoy getting Dollar Tree products. I feel like they work well. They aren't non-toxic, so that's the downside um, if that bothers you, but I don't mind it and I just like that it's affordable and I can keep all the things that I need below the sink. Okay, for cleaning mirrors, I feel like the winning combination is I use my Jaws window cleaner and then I have an e-cloth polishing rag. I swear by those two. Um, I think they work so well if you haven't tried it and you have it in your budget to buy it, definitely try it out. I have my e-cloth link and my Jaws link down below in my description box and if I ever have coupon codes, I have that with it as well. So definitely look into those. But those are two amazing products that I use every single day of my life. I clean this bathroom the most often just because it's Savannah's bathroom, but it's also our guest bathroom, so I like to keep it nice and tidy. I'm cleaning it the same way I did the other one. I'm just using my Dollar Tree products. You're actually gonna see me pull out and hear the Dollar Tree um, window cleaner, um, and it's just like vinegar based, and I feel like it works really well. I actually grabbed paper towels this time because my e-cloth rag wasn't in here. It's actually um, in the washer, so I need to put it back. So when I don't have the rags, I'll just grab that paper towel but typically I am using my e-cloth rag. go ahead and vacuum these floors real quick just because it won't take me long. I did want to let you guys know when I was cleaning these bathrooms when I was getting underneath the sinks so both of them are getting out of control. I feel like I just organized these but maybe it's been a few months but that'll definitely be coming in an upcoming video not super soon but the next time I do a declutter I definitely need to work on the bathroom um, underneath the sinks because it was getting full. You'll have to let me know which areas in your house get bad like do they get bad underneath your sinks because I feel like those are the areas that I'm having to clean the most and maybe it's just because we're in and out of them so much. Okay, now I'm going to quickly vacuum Savannah's room. As you can see, it's nice and tidy. She's good about cleaning up her own space and making her bed. The older she gets, the more we try to put a little more chores on her. She does typically bring her laundry to me, but since I caught it while I was in there, I thought I'd go ahead and grab it. But she doesn't like vacuum her room, and she will sometimes get products and clean areas. But about once a month, I'll come in here and do a deep clean. But for the most part, she is really good about just keeping things nice and tidy. It does help since she has a playroom so there's not many toys in here but she'll even bring me her sheets when those need to be washed. Um, I'm going to go in her playroom right now. She had this picked up which isn't often. It does not always look this clean so when it's clean I try to run in there and vacuum because we'll go a few weeks where I can't just because she's got so many toys with like little bitty things and I don't want to suck them up. So anytime I see an opening that that room's clean I hurry run in and vacuum it. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take all my cleaning supplies and put them back where they belong. I'm also gonna take her laundry. We have a baby gate there just because George tends to make Savannah have like an itchy nose and sneeze sometimes, so I like for him to stay out of her areas. Plus, if he gets in that playroom, he's gonna chew some stuff up, or he would when he was a puppy. I don't know if he still would. And then yes, I know there's holes in it. We actually cut those out so that Tiger could get through it because he still likes to visit Sissy, so please, no judgment. <laughs> this is a judgment-free zone. But that's pretty much life right now. Now I'm gonna head into the kitchen and work on getting this area picked up. Now I'm gonna work on just wiping off my island. This is very just calming to me, so you guys are gonna see me do it a lot. Even when it's clean, I'll walk in there. I think again, it's just kind of for the smell. Um, it makes the kitchen and house smell amazing. So the two products that I really love to use are the Jaws Granite Cleaner. I feel like it smells incredible. It's the best smelling product they have. And like I said, it's not overwhelming. It's not super strong and harsh. And then I also love the Thieves Cleaner that I use that one a whole lot. Um, I've used Method in the past. I still have one bottle left that I'm slowly getting through. I feel like it smells amazing, but it does tend to give me a headache sometimes. Um, once again, I'm just really weird with smells, so I have to be careful. So I really do enjoy the Jaws products, um, and I enjoy the Thieves um, Cleaner as well. You know there's an ocean between the stones. So now I'm going to be using that Thieves Cleaner that I was talking about um, and I just like to spray with it and then I just use another cloth rag to wipe with it. Um, it's from Young Living if you guys have any questions. I actually had a really sweet subscriber slash friend send it to me to try out and I absolutely love it. I will definitely be reordering it when I need it. But what's so nice, it's like a concentrate so you order a bottle and it's lasting me forever and I clean all the time and I use it all the time and it's lasting so long so if you guys are in the market for that definitely check it out now I'm gonna go ahead and start Savannah's load of laundry so I can get it done um, before I go to bed real quick I want to mention the prints that are up here in my laundry room um, I just did a video with Fracture. It was the clean and decorate with me for Valentine's Day, but I didn't show you guys these. These are my favorite prints. It's from our Arizona vacation last summer. I love having those up in my laundry room. This is totally not sponsored, but I do have a coupon code. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll have it down below in my description box. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is grab my mop. I always get a lot of questions about this, um, especially everybody that's new. It's an e-cloth mop, so you only have to use water to clean your floors, which I think is amazing, especially if you have babies crawling around, you're not putting anything non-toxic, it is just water, and your floors will never be sticky. I don't know how many times I would use Method and different products and I would like stick walking on them later. No, 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 no. Let's clean with water. All you do is you get it really wet and then it just Velcros to your mop and that is it. Then all you have to do is run it across your floors. Um, it is so simple and so easy. And like I said, I have that e-cloth um, link down below in my description box.
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and making it to the end of today's video. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up because it helps me out. And if you're new here, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love for you to subscribe and join my family. And by clicking that subscribe button, it is free, but it will notify you anytime I post a video and I like to post two or three times a week. So I'd love to have you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.